Hi guys, welcome to Rossi Audio and I tell you another video this week. I don't know what's going on uh, but I have a lot of stuff that I can make videos about so here comes another one. Um, right now I'm in the process of moving things out of here uh, so I can get all my Christmas stuff put up, uh, reorganized, re-hooking up stuff some stuff is going out of here new stuff is coming in so you don't see it right now but trust me when christmas starts for me christmas starts december 1st or let me put it like this the first sunday of, of the advents uh that's normally the last sunday of november that's when christmas starts for me and i'm gonna do something special this year with this room um so there's a lot of work going into that right now uh change of displays how the speakers that are being put up here um i'm trying to hook up um a media computer in here too uh, i have a screen up here already i have the computer the all the stuff uh, all i need to do is run a wi-fi signal in here uh, or just run a cable because the, the computer that I have that I'm going to use for this room do not have built-in Wi-Fi so I have to do something with that so I, I have a, another review for you guys and this time it is a tiny little speaker from Jensen um, not vintage Jensen um, it's from around year 2000 or so uh, a tiny little pro audio speaker I want to call it it has carpet uh, it has plastic corner covers and um, here it is it's a little two-way and the model number is J Jensen JP 500 and I was right the, the label says uh, 2000 so um, not a big one tiny little speaker um i got it at a yard well garage sale slash yard sale last week and i just thought they were so cute i have the other one over here i just took this one down from this side because i just run a test on them and um, i run them up against the, again my uh, toshibas and some certain vegas um and um, how did it stand? Well, it can't touch uh, either one of them. The Cern Vega, well, Cern Vega seems to be a little bit more balanced. Um, a little bit more detailed in the mid-range. Uh, the Toshibas are just way ahead of both of those. Um, so... This JP500, is it a good speaker? Is it a bad speaker? Um, you know, is it worth getting? I, these were pretty darn cheap and um, I couldn't just pass them off. I mean, I think I paid like $5 for the pair and um, they are in very, very good condition. There is, there is nearly any wear on the carpet. I, I did vacuum the carpet because it was kind of dusty and I cleaned off the corners with a cloth and Windex and all the plastic things on it I have cleaned off with Windex and a cloth. So they look fairly good. I mean they are in good cosmetic condition. Now configuration. Well, they have a PSO tweeter, um, a PSO horn tweeter. They have um, what looks to be, I haven't looked it up, but it looks to be like a five, five and a quarter woofer. And it's ported. There's two small ports down here on the bottom. Down here. Very light. But they're, 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 they seem to be solid built. But, ooh, not good. You knock on this one, <clears throat> and it has that high.
hollow sound and even echo. So um, the sound from these can be improved. Um, you can uh, in fact put some damping along the walls inside. Don't fill it up with polyfill because it's ported. But you can put some damping on the walls inside um, and then do all sides that doesn't have drivers on it. So top, bottoms, both sides and the back plate. <clears throat> that should take care of the echo and the hollowness and stuff. And I heard it when I played them. that It had that hollow sound. Uh, a type of sound that you often get with cheap uh, inexpensive speakers. Such as this one. These were not made uh, with sound quality in mind. These were made for mass quantity and mass sales. And just make as many as you can and flood the market with them. And hope they sell. Uh, and of course they put a, light, uh, um, a low price point on it. So of course they, they probably sold quite a lot of them. Um, the use of these that I can see that they have been used for is probably in pubs, uh, restaurants and stuff like that. Um, just as having them on, on some s s ceiling hanging shit. There is no flywear on them so uh, this one has received a little home DIY thing. Uh, two screws and a wire, and I've probably been hanging on a wall. Um, but you could put them on a shelf or something like that, or I'm sure you can strap something around it and hang it from the ceiling in the corner. And and I think that that's what probably most people bought them for. Um, and of course, when they become like this, they almost becomes like a little toy. Uh, it's almost like a toy speaker. Um, I, I don't want to say that this is a serious attempt on um, making a good sounding speaker. This is just building a speaker to produce sound. And that's the huge difference in that. So, without knowing what the MSRP was when they were new, or what they even sold for when they were new, um, it's hard for me to say if the value uh, on these when you bought them new was good or bad or whatever but uh, five bucks used at, in a good working condition and good cosmetic condition at a yard sale slash garage sale it's worth it all day long you can improve the sound on these fairly easy you all you have to do is take the woofer out take the tweeter out and Hopefully you have small enough hands to get through the hole that the woofer has. And then you can line the walls with any type of damping material that you have. Uh, polyfill I wouldn't recommend because that's more for sealed boxes. Um, you can use it in here too, but you know those green mats that they use in under the hoods of cars to um, insulate and insulate the heat from the engine from the the hood those type of mats would be good in here that way you can glue it to the side the walls uh, poly polyfill you can do that too if you get the if you get the fleece type but if you get the cotton type it's it's a little bit harder um if i'm gonna try and guess what these cost new I would probably say somewhere between $49.99 and $69.99 for the pair uh, and they were probably sold at all kinds of different stores they were probably sold online um, so if you bought a new I don't think you got the best deal of, <laughs> on the market they would have probably been a few other speakers that I would have bought before this one new. If I'm going to rate it, um, rate the sound from 1 to 10, 10 is the best. I want to say that sound quality, 3.5, 4 at the most.
because of that hollowness. Um, stare, they're very good in stereo imaging. When you put them up uh, in a stereo setting and you, you sit in a very good position, they're very good at stereo imaging. Um, I feel that the tweeter, the, the, the piezo horn in these are the weak thing here. The mid-range is way better sound quality than the horn, the piezo horn. Um, it had some very weird noises in the piezo horn. Very sharp, almost like someone was hitting a metallic thing. Um, and that's the type of thing that you get with cheap piezo horns. They have this weird, weird sound. Um, they can scream loud if you use the right piezo horns, but this is not, this is not even a good piezo horn. Um, so the mid-range in this cabinet is the champion, if you can call it that. Um, the cabinet is very well constructed. Um, beside that, I mean, the finish of it is is fairly good. There's not a lot of flaws that I could see. And of course the size of the speaker also determines the sound that comes out of it. So you can't expect too much out of this little thing. It's not even, it's not a big thing. Uh, and it's light as hell. Uh, so if you come across these and you, you can get them for like five, six, seven, eight bucks, I mean go for it. They're they're fun little speakers to play around with. And, and you can always change the, uh, the the piezo horn in here with some other tweeters, uh, another D horn or something like that, or a bullet horn, and just put a crossover in here, a two-way crossover. That will probably uh, improve the sound extremely. So uh, it doesn't take much. You can get pre-made crossovers in a two-way setting like this. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even bother start sitting down and make my own crossover. I could probably find some pre-made that will work perfectly with a good crossover point and a good slope. Um, and you could use, I wouldn't go for the simplest thing, but it's fairly easy to upgrade these speakers. So um, three and a half, four, on a scale to 1 to 10. Um, cosmetically and design uh, wise, I'll give them five and a half, maybe six on the sign, and I'll give them, in fact, a six and a half to seven on finish. It has a good finish. It is 17 years old and it sure doesn't look like it. The carpet is not coming apart anywhere. It's not loose anywhere. Um, the corners are still sitting there without any problems. The speaker connector plate on the back is okay. Um, the logo is nice and firmly to the front baffle. And um, the ports are st sitting really good. So, the build quality here is better than the sound quality, that's for sure. Too bad they almost, I want to say, forgot or didn't think about dampening the cabinet on the inside. On a small cabinet like this, there is no need for bracing. So, I wouldn't even consider putting braces in here. Um, but I would and I will take the woofer out. And I will line the walls inside with some type of damping material. That I will do. That will improve the sound a lot. So, that was the Jensen JP500. Um, like I said, it's not a vintage Jensen. Um, I have a little bit of a weakness, <laughs> I have to say, for vintage speakers. And especially Electro Voice and Jensen. Um, 
50s and 60s speakers from those two companies are awesome. Um, this is n not from the same company because Jensen was in the in the early to mid 70s. They were more or less bought, bought out and things started to change. Um, the really big change happened in 77, 78. So after that, Jensen was more a marketing company in my mind than really putting out self-made and self-designed products. However, they owned, they bought up Face Linear at one point and they also bought out Advent at one point. I, and they still made good products at that time. I, I, had, I, I used to sell uh, Face Linear um, car audio amplifiers that came from Jensen. So with that, have a nice day.